we're pushing hard on trying to use epigenetic reprogramming on the brain. We've had some success restoring the ability to learn in mice that we age rapidly. Uh, and also in regular mice, we can reverse that process, it seems. Uh, but yeah, that's where we're going. We're also looking for other ways to reprogram the animal and eventually humans in simpler ways than using an adenovirus and a gene therapy. In animals, the organs that have been reversed in age so far are the brain, um, the eye. We've done a number of different layers in the eye, and it, it seems to help all of them, both in the structure of the eye as well as the, the function of those cells. Um, we've done a bit of work in skin. Others have, in Europe, so Manuel Serrano has reported at least uh, at conferences that he can reverse internal organ aging. Uh, Belmonte's lab, it's the salt just reported muscle age reversal. We are doing that as well. Uh, so there's a lot of possibility. So the, the eye will be the first, the first patient hopefully in two years um, to three years will know if it's working. The good news about the eye is you can go straight into an efficacy phase two trial rather than waiting for human safety data. So that'll be fairly quick if it works. Other organs, you know, I, I don't know what it'll be. I think possibly hearing loss uh, will be a good one to tackle because it's also for a variety of reasons. It's a high end, bit, high end met need. It's localized, the immune system won't be triggered too badly. So I would, if I put my money, it would be hearing loss, but there are, there are lots of things we can do from muscle to liver. Um, there's, there's spleen, there's pancreas, there's a whole, whole bunch of organs that I'm excited about trying this in. Yeah, we think that it, it's likely to be a universal effect. Um, so far, we we've, we've haven't failed to reverse the age of any cell type from skin to muscle to neurons, from mouse to human. So which would that would be great news if there was a universal treatment. Um, but I, I think we'll also find that there will be um, tissue specific combinations that can be applied. For instance, in muscle, including an early developmental gene that helps muscle develop could improve the, the efficiency of that uh, treatment as well. So the answer is yes, universal, but probably um, in addition, we can make targeted therapies as well.